Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our mathematics class online. This is Sir Ricky with Philippine Organization of Mentors in Mathematics or POMI. Guys, I have a good news for you. POMI channel is now around more than 500 subscribers all over the world. Yay! This is amazing. We are very much grateful to those individuals who really believe in the power of mathematics. Please continue your support by subscribing to our channel and uh, share our videos and post your comments. And today, we will be discussing on how to solve quadratic equations by using factoring. When you speak of factoring, this is the process of finding the factors of the given polynomials. We are also using the zero product property solved for the roots or zeros of the quadratic equations. And guys, we have shortcuts to be discussed and some techniques. So are you ready? So let's go. Okay, solving quadratic equations by factoring. Solve for x squared minus 2x minus 24 is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equations. And we are tasked to find um, the roots of this quadratic equation. So this time, we'll be using factoring. Actually, we can solve this by using completing the square, by using the quadratic formula. So in this case, we'll be solving these quadratic equations by factoring. Now we're going to find the factors of this one. Okay, so meaning there are two factors and then that's equal to zero. Okay, by the way, um, x squared, we know that the factors of x squared are x and x because x times x is equal to x squared. Okay, I'll give you a technique. No? So this is the product. Negative 24 is the product and the sum is negative 2. So we have product negative 24 and sum is equal to negative 2. So we need to say we're going to find the factors, two numbers, such that when you multiply, the product is equal to negative 24 and the sum is equal to negative 2. Okay, so can you give me the two numbers such that... Uh, one is uh, such that the product is negative 24 and the sum is 2. Okay, I'll give you some possibilities. Okay, yeah, negative 12 times 2, that's negative 24. So, correct. Next possibility, 12 times negative 2, that's negative 24. Okay, next, 6 times negative 4 is equal to negative 24. Okay, next, negative 6 times 4 is equal to negative 24 and then we have negative 24 times 1 of course negative 24 and 24 times negative 1 is equal to negative 24 so these are the possibilities we're going to check the sum okay so let's say for example negative 12 plus 2 that's equal to negative 10. So, meaning this is not the factors, okay? Because negative 10 is not equal to negative 2. We're looking for the sum which is equal to negative 2. Okay, 12 plus negative 2, that's positive 10. Oh, it's not. 6 times, 6 plus negative 4 or 6 minus 4, that's equal to 2. Okay, still not. Then, negative 6 plus 4, that's negative 2. So, we have negative 2 and negative 2. So, meaning to say, these are the factors. The factors are negative 6 and 4. Okay, we will continue anyway. This is, the sum is equal to negative 23. And this one, the sum is 23. So, we will be using negative 6 and 4. And we will have to write negative 6 here. And 4, positive 4, so that's plus 4. So, many say the factor of this quadratic equation is x minus 6 times x plus 4. Next, we're going to use, uh, by the way, these are factors, okay? Now, we're going to use the zero product property and then we equate the factors to zero or set 
the factors to 0. So, we have x minus 6 is equal to 0. And x plus 4 is equal to 0 by 0 product property. And then, we're going to solve for x. Okay? So, we remove the parentheses. So, x minus 6 is equal to 0. And then, we're going to isolate x by adding both sides of the equation by 6. Okay, so x now is equal is minus x minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 plus 6. So, this is equal to x, this is 0, 0 plus 6, 6. So, meaning the value of x is 6. And then we'll solve this one. x plus 4, we remove the parentheses, so we have x plus 4 is equal to 0. We're going to isolate x by subtracting both sides of an equation by 4. So we have x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 minus 4. So x now is equal to negative 4. So our solution set would be negative 4 and 6. All right. So we have a simple trick. Okay. Since our main focus here is to solve for the value of x or the roots of the current equation, so we have negative 6. We're going to change the sign from negative, it will become positive. x is equal to 6. From positive, change the sign, it will become x is equal to negative 4. So, I'm going to say you don't need to use this process if you know the factors of the given quadratic equation so x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 4 is the solution set of these quadratic equations okay any question let's go to the next next example solve for x squared plus 7x minus 30 is equal to 0 Take note that uh, we're looking for the factors of this uh, quadratic equation wherein the product is equal to negative 30 and the sum is equal to 7. So this is the product, negative 30, and the sum is equal to 7. So when you think of two numbers um, which will satisfy this condition, the product is negative 30 and the sum is 7, obviously, this is 10 and negative 3 because 10 times negative 3, that's negative 30. And 10 plus negative 3 or 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So, I'm going to say the factors are 10 and negative 3. So, these are the factors. Okay. And then we're going to equate this to 0 and this one x plus 10 is equal to 0, and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Obviously, we're going to isolate x by subtracting both sides by 10. So, x plus 10 minus 10 is equal to x, 0 minus 10, that's negative 10. So, x now is equal to negative 10. So here, we're going to isolate x by adding both sides of an equation by positive 3. So, we have x now is equal to positive 3 because uh, x minus 3 plus 3, the 0, is equal to 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. So, the solution set would be um, negative 10 and 3 for the value of x. Okay. By using our technique, the value of x would be from positive 10, we we'll change this to negative 10, that's correct, and negative 3. We we'll change this to positive 3. So, meaning our technique really works. Let's go to example number 3. Solve for 2x squared plus x minus 21 is equal to 0. Now, we're going to find the factors of this uh, quadratic equation. Um, in our previous example, the coefficient of x squared is 1. This time, we have 2. So, this is uh, a little bit difficult to factor. So, one method is by trial and error. Alright? Now, take note that uh, um, this one, these are the possibilities, no? Um, 2x times x, that's 2x squared. 
negative 3 times 7, that's negative 21. These are the possibilities. But uh, we're not yet sure if this really the factors of this quadratic equation. So another, we have 2x plus 3 times x minus 7 because 2x times x, that's 2x squared. 3 times negative 7, that's negative 21. So that's uh, one possibility. The third, x minus 3 times 2x plus 7, x times 2x, that's 2x squared, negative 3 times 7, that's negative 21, another possibility, x plus 3 times 2x minus 7, that's x times 2x, that's 2x squared, and 3 times negative 7, that's negative 21. But we're going to find the product of this by using the FOIL method, by using distributive property, or using the long multiplication. So, the product of 2x minus 3 times x plus 7 is equal to 2x squared plus 11x minus 21. So, meaning based on this, this is not, this is not uh, the factors of this. What about this one? That's 2x squared minus 11x minus 21. Uh, while this uh, x minus 3 times 2x plus 7, the product is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 21 is equal to 0. So there you go, guys. Um, so meaning, these are the correct factors of this quadratic equation. Anyway, um, this we will continue. So 2x squared minus x minus 21, it's not. No. So meaning to say, the factors of this quadratic equation 2x squared plus x minus 21 is equal to x minus 3 times 2x plus 7. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 7 is equal to 0 by using the pr uh, zero product property. So we set this, so we set one factor to 0 and the other factor to 0 and then solve for x. Remove from the parenthesis. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 by, we're going to isolate x by adding both sides of an equation by 3. So x now is equal to positive 3. Okay, let's go to this uh, factor. Uh, 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. And then we're going to isolate 2x. So we're going to subtract both sides by 7. So we have 2x is equal to 0 minus 7. That's negative 7. So we want uh, that the coefficient of x is equal to 1. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 and divide this by 2. So it turns out that x is equal to negative 7 over 2. So the solution set, negative 7 over 2 and 3. Alright, so we have the shortcut. Okay, so this is a long process, the trial and error method. So we have the shortcut. We know that uh, this is a quadratic equation in the general quadratic form. So ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, our shortcut here, we are going to identify the value of A, B, and C. But in this case, um, A is 2, B is 1, C is negative 21 based on this. Now, for the product, we have AC. So, meaning, um, we multiply the value of A and C. A is 2 and uh, C is negative 21, which is equal to negative 42. The sum is... B, the sum is B, the coefficient of X, which is equal to 1. And then, we're going to find the factors of uh, this quadratic equation such that the product is negative 42 and the sum is 1. Okay? So, can you think of two numbers such that um, the product is negative 42 and the sum is 1? So, obviously, it's 7 and negative 6, right? Because 7 times negative 6, that's negative 42. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. Or 7 plus negative 6, that's positive 1. And after that, we are going to divide this by the coefficient of x squared, which is 2. So, 7 halves and negative 6 over 2. So, we're going to change the sign from positive to negative, from negative to positive. So, meaning our solution set would be negative 
7 halves and positive negative 6 over 2, that's negative 3. So, meaning x is 3. Alright? So, this is the shortcut. You are going to find the product and the sum. For the product, um, you use this equation, AC. Okay? You multiply A and C, which is negative 42. And then the sum is um, the coefficient of x, which is 1. And then, and then you're going to find the factors of negative 42. I, I mean the factors um, where in the product is negative 42 and the sum is 1. So that's 7 and negative 6. And after that, you divide this by the coefficient of x squared. Let's say, for example, this is 5. Then you have to divide 5. If this is 4, you have to divide this by 4. So... Uh, since our coefficient here of x squared is 2, so meaning divide by 2, and then we're going to change the sign, and that will be the solution set. Alright? Okay, let's go to example number 4. Um, this time, we will not use the trial and error method. Instead, we'll be using the shortcut. Alright? So, 6x squared plus 5x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we're going to find the product, which is AC. So, A is 6. C is negative 4. So, that's negative 24. This is the product. For the sum, um, this is 5, the coefficient of x, which is 5. So, when you think of two numbers such that the product is equal to negative 24 and the sum is 5. Okay. So, the factors are? Positive 8 and negative 3. Why? Because um, 8 times negative 3, that's negative 24. 8 plus 3 or 8 minus 3, that's positive 5. So, we're going to divide this by the coefficient of x squared, which is 6. Okay, 8 divided by 6 and negative 3 over 6. Then, we have to simplify. Okay, so x now is equal to 8 over 6, that's 4 third, and then we change the sign, so it will become x equals negative 4 third. And this is uh, negative 1 half, so we change the sign, x is 1 half. So, these are the solution of these uh, quadratic equations. Alright, so the solution set would be negative 4 third and 1 half. So, it's very simple, right? So, that's the technique. Um, first, you're going to find AC, um, and then the B, and then find the factors of uh, the product and the sum. And uh, you're going to divide that by the coefficient of x squared, and change the sign, and that will be the solution set. Alright? 